Tonight we have a big gun battle between the people from Woodbury and our uh, main characters from the prison. First of all, they have to take care of the guards on top of the buses. We really try to keep it very, very realistic on the show. That's a crimped end blank. They're specially made for us. They have a little bit more flash to them and a lot less power. And then we put a suppressor in the end so that it will rechamber each round. But it gives a real safe range of fire so that you can fire at other actors running around. Go! Keep going! Action! We have some grenades. They toss these into the street. If you watch the first episode, you'll know that you saw them collect these from the guards. One of the nice things about this episode is we saw a lot of these weapons throughout the year, but we didn't get a chance to use them, and now we're in eight, and they come to Woodbury, and they use every one of them. We have 10 days of filming we have to do in eight days for this episode, and the only way it can be done is if the cast brings the A game every single time, and they do. These guys come so prepared, it makes all the difference in the world, because we gotta go. Cut, that's cut. Cut. Our hero Rick is firing an AR-15, full auto. Gives him a lot of juice when he's out there. Behind you! Norman comes in with Carol's machine gun, which he's got it on full auto. He's really being the guy here. He's protecting them and he's using it as cover fire. Oscar comes out with Shane's old shotgun. That gun doesn't hold out well enough for him. I have the, the biggest gun, which is a sawed off, but it's the one that makes the least noise because of the, the caliber, it's like, I can't tell you how happy it makes me to walk around with an M16 in my hand. I mean, you may have noticed I come from a little island that doesn't have a gun culture. And I go to work and they give me an assault rifle and 2,000 rounds. Boomski is all I'm saying. Well, so we have really good gun guys. Uh, John, who does our gun guns, is really careful and makes us very familiar with the weapons before we use them. I took Norman and Andrew to a gun range and they trained to actually know how to shoot at full combat level with real live rounds. They know what the feel of that gun is gonna be in. And action! Daryl Pitcher makes a paintball gun. It looks like bullets are ricocheting off the walls. So when we take cover in this little corridor and I'm poking my head out like He's shooting the wall next to me like an idiot. I did it with my mouth open and got a bunch of dust in my mouth, so I'm like We're shooting out at night in the middle of Woodbury, which is actually Sonoya, Georgia. We don't want to wake up the neighbors at one o'clock in the morning with machine gun fire, so we use a much more suppressed round. These are regular brass rounds, but they only have an eighth of powder round so that you can see a big flash, not a lot of noise. It's not so much where you're aiming, but it's a projectile of the, the casings that fly out of the gun. And when you're shooting lots of different rounds on an automatic weapon, it's literally like, you know, they fly out and they're, you know, they're hot. It's awesome, bro. Like, you were so pissed off. Awesome, Your eyes are like, yeah, it's awesome, dude. You look so angry. He, he thought I shot him at one point, but actually I just moved his hair a little bit, which is probably worse. There you go, right there. I have this beard for the next movie that I'm going to do, and um, I, I was worried that the beard was going to keep me from being here because I don't quite look like Shane, but I think it ended up working out well. We get John Berthold He was just on the way to doing the new Scorsese movie, and he's kind of built up even more than he could possibly be. He's like Bernthal to the power of Bernthal. He's super Bernthal. But it was just great to have him back and to kill him again. And of course he shoots him with his super hand cannon main python gun. So now he's stabbed me, he's kicked my dead body, screamed at me, his son's shot me in the head, and now he just shot me under the eye. So that's fate for old Shane. There's a lesson there, don't stop my wife. That's cut, let's check the gate. That's, a, rap that's rap. another rap on Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. The Walking Dead Season 3 continues with new episodes in February, only on AMC. For more exclusive video, go to amctv.com.